started the decision of if a term of life losses or a term of life loss issues up and if it changed for Bert, but she had just, you know, just a wet diaper, but then she would just eat it. But then I smelled some gas, so I don't know. I think, I don't know if this is going to work on the poop or not. Anyway, we are going to have to make that trip. We're going to take the bus there and back and everything. It's, you know, I, I, at least I gave, I gave him the opportunity to try to help. Um, I don't make my problems anybody else's problems. I ask for help, and that's all you can do. But it's just the way people are when they're jerks and they're jerks, and there's not, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not trying to stress about it, but I'm not gonna protect people that are jerks. I'm not gonna just like, I'm not gonna cover for them. That's all I'm saying. Um. It's so funny because look at like Gypsy Rose. It's like, oh my god, it's terrible. And so, without even thinking about that, and I had made that decision, I wasn't going to cover for them. You know, I'm not going to say that they're like that terrible, but they're terrible enough that, like, I, I don't need high blood pressure. I'm not going to say it's their fault because it's not, but I don't need the fucking drama. Like I said, everybody has their own prerogatives and, you know, you can, just, you make, this, we all make decisions every day about what we want to do. And my baby's so sweet, so she's, she's just smiling at me and you see she's calm. She knows I'm calm, so she's calm, and I've been calm through the whole thing with her. She is not a problem to me at all, whatsoever. I love all my kids so much, and they know that. They, they've never been my problem. They, they are the solution, if anything. They understand. I take care of my business. I don't put my problems on anybody else. My kids... I take care of them, you know, and that's why for years, like, with my girls, they're with their father and everything, and we would work together as a team, and, and then when I had tried to go to court, then he was mad and stuff, but other than that, like, we've been fine, and we still are fine, I just, I'm not going to explain anything, I'm, I'm just, it's a new year, and before the new year had even came, before all that, I just decided that I'm really just, I'm not gonna, I'm just not putting up with people's crap, like, I already had decided that, and it had nothing to do with the new year, but when a ba what a baby's needs, okay, this lady was very wise, she, uh, she is from at the hospital. She volunteers in the Ronald McDonald House the, uh, on the fifth floor of Children's Osiris Children's Hospital. She, she basically, when her daughter was a little baby and she had this um, lactation expert, you want some milk? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, she said, a baby's wants are a baby's needs. That's the lactation expert told her that and it's true a baby's not here to manipulate a baby's not here to play games they they want what they need basically and it's true and I, I'm going right with that and I'm there for my baby now my parents said oh can you have can I have my son babysit so I can take the bus well you know what my son is 18 years old yes but do I think he's ready to watch my daughter, who's a preemie, who's only six weeks old, who is not even six pounds yet, okay? And, you know, besides, yes, he's 18, 
but he's not a girl, for one thing, not to sound sexist, but girls are usually more, most girls, I'm not going to be funny about it, I'm just, I'm saying it'd be the same thing most girls as opposed to most guys wouldn't be, but not to say that no men could, it's really about your experience, and that's with any kind of job. And this, I would be considering, like, as a job, because I already am considering that as my, my kids all get older, as she gets older, and as they they get more experience with dealing with her, then yes, I will pay them to babysit and everything. But I can't really depend on them yet. My kids, their ages, okay, Malachi is 18, Jayla is 15, my twins, Giovanni and Teresa, are 11, they'll be 12 in March, okay? But do I think that any of them, it's not even just, it's not that I don't think any of them can handle, it's just they don't have any experience with babies. They've never babysat, like, babies. Now, Jayla obviously has babysat the twins. Malachi has helped look after his sisters. But when Malachi, when the twins were little, Malachi was still, you know, like, he was still little himself. But they're all three years apart, starting from when Malachi was three, Jayla was born. And then, so he was, he was six then when the twins were born. So that's not a huge, he was not that old when, you know what I, so it's just, Anyways, they're not ready to watch my six-pound baby. No, she's not even. She's almost. She's getting big. She's growing. I was just talking about that on the video. Don't get me wrong. But, anyways, I'm not going to take the chance in trying to wait another day for baby formula. This isn't... I've just... I've gone through so much. I just... I, I know what's right, and I have to go with that. And I know, I know. Oh, and she has her moments, and she either wants me to hold her, or like I know what she needs and what she wants and everything, and I take good care of her. But my kids are ready for that shit. There, a lot of people wouldn't be because they don't. It's like you have to have the experience. Now let's, let's, oh, there we go, good job, that was a nice start. If somebody else had a preemie right now, then yeah, I probably could watch a baby for them, but at the same time, I would have my, my daughter, and it would be, I would, I could handle it, but it's like, you see how the situation you would be in? Or like, uh, it's just, People don't, you know, if something simple has to turn into something else because people don't care. But you know what? I'm not here to bash other people that supposedly care or don't care or whatever, however they feel or don't feel. I just know I reached out trying to be a good mother, trying to avoid having my daughter go in the cold and be in the car, but you this is a prime example of acting like you care but you don't because if you did you would try to work something out you would tell me let's try to work something out and this is what i've gone through from i'm not going to say my whole pregnancy there are things i went through yeah i felt alone and far as far as like my family wasn't there for me my kids were there for me don't get me wrong but regardless, I didn't come out on social media and talk about this because I didn't want to put all of my, I, I just didn't want to make people look bad. I didn't want to be an asshole. I didn't want it to come back on me like I owe somebody shit because I don't. But you know how that just seems like that's how people are. They like to sue people. But do I have anything right now to give? No. I'm doing this so that the truth is there and I don't have to feel 
like a weight on me because it's just not right. This right here is about me, my kids and that I'm going to work hard and give them what they need. But if you're supposed to be family and I ask for a very small morsel of help, then what is the fucking problem? We're talking about formula. So yes, I'm going to go and get that. It's going to be there today and I'm going to get it today. You have you didn't tell me what what you're so busy doing and and you act like I'm a burden. I've been that feeling sucks. Like I got used to it's just it's it uh, it doesn't really bother me that much. How it is I've talked to people about this before. I haven't talked about it publicly, but you know what? It has to be done because I know I'm not alone in here and I just want people to know it's not your fault. Somebody told me this when I was younger. Um, so anyways, I, I just want you guys to know that. I know this is weird, I'm sitting in the dark. Well, it's not like I'm 100% in the dark. You can see me a little bit, it's a little light, but... Again, I just, I'm trying to let my sweet baby rest a little bit. Unfortunately, we are going to have to go out in the cold. I'm going to bundle her up so good. And I've done that. That's what I've done every time we had to go somewhere. But I'm not going to sit here. I could really bash the hell out of you and make you look dumb and, and really put a whole picture... But I'm not going to do all that. I'm What I'm doing right now, like I said, is for me and my daughter, for my, for my kids, all the shit we've ever had to go through because of your wishy-washy shit. So, that's all that is. I don't have to explain every little indifference. And I just know I'm not going to wait for you to do some stupid crap in the future to try to make me look bad. Because I'm not here to make you look bad. But, you know, you're not going to keep hurting my feelings. It's not even about my feelings. It's, it's just... It's just wrong. What she's doing is wrong. And I love my kids. And I just feel like... I don't know if this is like... I don't know. I'm not going to say this is racism. <laughs> Or what the hell it is. Maybe it's just you hate me so much that you're going to do all of this. I don't know. I can't give a shit about why. Because I know I'm not doing anything wrong to you. I'm not going to say, oh, you love anybody else more than me and this and that and the third. I'm not going to do all of that. Because you know what? In the end, it doesn't matter. What The stuff that you do... It just, it hurts my kids. It hurt me all you want. I don't care. I've developed very thick skin regarding all of this. But my kids and... No, I'm not going to protect you guys with that. I'm, I'm just not. You know, we're adults here. Can't we act like it? Apparently, you can't. So again, this is me protecting my kids for one thing. You know, I'm not going to protect you when you want to just hurt. It's, it, it's just not right. Like I said, what you're doing is wrong. And, you know, it really just hurts you in the end. Because I'm, I'm just tired. I'm done with all of this. You don't have to worry about me asking you for shit ever again. I'm just, I'm not going to ask. I, I've had enough. I made the notion, now me yelling or raising my voice, saying what I need to say and stuff, I don't want to raise my voice, especially around my children, and I don't want to have to do it, period. I like to just calmly say things. I, I'm just done. My blood pressure is going to be just fine because I just, I'm, I handle my business. I love I love my kids so much and I take good care of them. I really truly do. 
Yeah. And because I care and because I take care of them, I'm not going to take a chance of her special milk not being there. I'm going to get it today. And it's sad that you can't get, you don't want to give me a ride. You don't care. Am I making a whole thing of this? I don't think so, because I just, I'm not hearing any kind of real reason why you can't do it, other than you don't feel like it. If you have plans, you have plans, but you're not telling me shit. I'm not here to judge you, but I'm just done. Don't get mad when I don't want to be bothered. Don't get mad when you can't do shit for me. Don't get mad if I don't even want you to see my kids. I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm just tired. Like I don't know. If you see my kids, it's because I'm gonna allow them to do something. But other than that, like I don't really want to speak with you. I don't want to conversate. I'm not gonna just get keep getting over the shit. It's not like I don't appreciate anything you've done, but you're not gonna just you're just not gonna do this to me. You're not going to do it to me any longer. Like, I'm almost 40 years old. What the hell? If anything bothers me, is that I'm this fucking old and the way I'm treated. That's what bothers me. My kids are good because I take care of them and they understand everything. They know you have a shitty ass attitude, but you act like it's me. I am way more grown than you could ever, like, wrap your brains around. That you could never, you don't try, you give me so much shit. I wouldn't have to do this. I wouldn't have to talk bad. And I really don't, for the most part, I don't want to do this. But you're not going to make me feel like crap. No, you're not. That is all on you. Like, everything that you do, that's the shit you have to live with. Being lazy. You're childish. You're lazy. Yes. These are my thoughts. But it's the truth. I'm, I just wanted to go get the damn baby milk. And that's a whole thing, and you act like it's a whole process? I don't have to get shit out. <laughs> they have it ready for me. I was going to take the bus, and then I was going to see, I was going to call and ask about a ride. But I just thought I would call ahead of time and ask, because if you act like you care so much, and you don't want nobody out, like even me, like act like you don't want me out in the cold or something like that, no, these are just words, because if you actually care, then you care about a six-pound baby. Or, like I said, she's not even. But, apparently, that's not the case. Anyways, this needed to be done, and life goes on. This is the shit I've had to deal with, like, literally in the dark. <laughs> Do you see? I'm fine, like... This is like people get accustomed to like I'm like I said I'm 39 years old I'm I'm almost 40. Don't worry about getting me any birthday presents. Don't worry about shit because I'm not gonna ask you for shit. I'm just I'm not like I'm just done with the shit. God has found a way for me to get out of this madness that you tried to keep me caged in. It's not, I am no way, shape, or form Gypsy Rose, like, it's not at all like that. But in some small way, it's, if I hadn't have been, I don't know, I, I'm just glad that I am the person I am, that I've been away from the crap. Let's just say that if I had always did everything that they wanted me to do, who knows? Like, they, they do want to control me, though. 
and I'm tired. And I've been tired. I'm just going to do what I know which is what is best. It seems like any time I actually took their fucking advice, things would get worse. I mean, <laughs> 2010 is a good representation of it. 2013. Those were years that they made some problems, you know. I'm not taking their dumb advice. Why don't they take their own ad Like, things they want to tell me to do, they can go do that shit their damn self. That's all. And I've said that before when legit given different advice on different things. Oh, like, why don't you do that? And like, <laughs> you know, and did they say, oh yeah, okay, I'll go do that. No, of course not. And that's just with different things. Anyways, I said what I needed to say. <sighs> um, you know what? Let's check my blood pressure if I can. I only have one arm available. You said it's a baby. It's a baby. See, she wants to be with me, and that's what I mean, like, I don't know how, I just don't think that would be a great idea to leave my son in charge, and I just think they would both be stressed out. He would be stressed out, he would be stressed out. It just doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Okay, so the you hear you hear it from the machine. So the top number went down one point and the bottom one went down like over twenty points, which is great. Again, I'm writing this down, you heard it, it's for, you know, this is important to, you know, record this stuff. Um, so I just, it sounds like I just got a text, I wouldn't be surprised if it's from, I don't know what that is. Somebody else had texted me and said a question mark, I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if they messaged me and I just didn't get back, but I'm, it's nothing about any of this unless she follows my YouTube, but I doubt it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Talking about some government shit grants. I don't want to, I don't want to for all that. I don't, anyway, um, uh, Anyways, I got this, um, you know, I'm still in the safe realm because it's not over the certain amount or whatever. So that's good. Like, if it was 180, 190, then that's to be concerned. I just, I know what I have to do, you know, and that's what I do and I'm not doing anything to get myself upset, like, I think it's so funny, from everything in my experience of going through everything, like, 
I'm obviously not doing anything to upset myself. And it's funny, like, medical people know their stuff, and they're not, not one for they ever accusing me of getting myself worked up or anything. Because <laughs> they know. It's, it is what it is. And, anyways. So, me and my baby have to get ourselves together here and go get milk. But, again, you see my blood pressure did go down some, even if it's 1 point, 20 point, whatever. Like, I don't know about the whole top and bottom number thing, but I think the top one is the one that you want that to go down, obviously, but... Whatever. We're we're getting somewhere back to normal. Anyways, like I said, I don't know what the whole issue I'm not gonna worry about other people being dicks. Family or not. You know it is what it is. I'm not stressing about shit. I'm gonna go ahead and, and think shit is cute. You're not stressing me out. I'm doing everything the right way. Everything will be just fine regardless. And, you know, like, I, I got this all under control. That's all that really matters here. And that's it. Again, I'm not stressing about shit. I just, just like any other day. This is nothing new. So that's where I just wanted you guys to understand that. I'm not gonna like hide in the dark about. Just like I don't condone domestic violence. I'm here for people. You want to break out of that? I would like to help in coming forward in the future. I mean, I can help now and give you advice and stuff, but I literally want to be able to have a place where people can go and get advice and be set in the right direction and have support and all that kind of stuff. I don't have a degree for all of that, but it doesn't matter. I want to still put those motions, those actions, put all of that in action and motion or whatever. I just had a baby and I have to make sure I don't die from my blood pressure and and I'm not going to die from it and I'm good. But I just had to say what I had to say because I'm not going to protect people who want to like cause harm to me. I'm not going to like just hide that. Am I putting you on recording or voice and putting you on my YouTube? No, I'm not. I, I could. I could have, but I didn't. Anyways, with all that said, here I go about my business. Now, don't get mad. You know, if you are doing me dirty and I just did what I did, oh fucking well. Don't do me dirty then, because it's not healthy for you to ask, ask that of me, to, to think it's okay for you to be so rotten to me and think I'm supposed to just accept that. It's not healthy and I'm not going to accept that. Yes, that's what I'm trying because you know what? I dealt with it so long and like I, it's only made me a better parent, I promise you. And if you are mad about it, well then that's your problem. I'm a better person, I'm a better parent. I'm not making a comparison, I'm saying because of what you have done to me, it's made me a better person, a better parent. I'm there for people. I try harder. So that is a fact. You, what I'm saying is a fact. I've seen it. A lot of other people, it would be definitely be a fact. Because regardless of how you feel, it, you might feel like 
you're not doing anything to hurt me or you're not wrong but from from my end and how I see it and it's not hard for anybody else to see that because of all of that it's made me a stronger person a better person a better mother all of that and I'm there for my kids and I'm there for good people period I want to help people because you don't want to help I want to help that's funny I know it sounds funny I even try to help you I've tried but you know what you have to want to help yourself and that's it that goes with anybody and everybody you have to want to help yourself whatever that is whatever problem you have don't get mad at me because you are like just your life sucks do something to fix it because you know what I've dealt with some things in my life obviously we all have things to deal with anything whatever that is your ghosts of your past your present your future deal with them that's all I'm gonna say and I'm out now and I'm literally like out we have to go get out of here and it is what it is <laughs> But thank you everybody for your support and listening and it'll all get better. I promise you that. <laughs>